all of them asking me like what's the solution like i address the problem so what's the solution i know my response is so overdue but i wanted to just share my two or three cents on this as well i do not claim to have the best solution either but i just wanted to give my thoughts based on what this creator shared and what i've seen in my experience for a little bit of background on who the hell i am my name is china eastern i'm an influencer talent manager i manage influencers businesses but i also do contract work on the side where i work with marketing agencies and i source influencers for campaigns and gifting and things like that so i get the best of both worlds to be honest with you i really like the suggestion of white creators putting on creators of color when they get a brand opportunity but i think there's another level to take it up to and i think these creators can do it when you receive a brand opportunity you can actually recommend a creator of color right when the opportunity comes in and you negotiated it and you locked the deal in most of the time those people are still looking for content creators when you're in the negotiation stage so Doing it before the deal is closed is actually helpful. I also do recommend trying at the end of a campaign as well, but in the beginning is usually when they're looking for other creators. So just remember that part. The other part to it is a lot of y'all say no to campaigns and gifting opportunities. So guess what? That is the perfect opportunity to put on a creator of color that you admire. You don't want that gifting opportunity to say, hey, how about this creator? Um, they might be really open to it and they have similar content. Or if it's a paid, um, paid partnership opportunity and you're not doing it for whatever reason, put that other creator on. Those are great opportunities to put someone else in. And then the other thing that I want to say about people who work behind the scenes is that you have to learn to be assertive. And that comes with knowing yourself knowing the people that you work with and i would say knowing the right time to speak up now this takes time so it may take you having more tenure where people can trust that you know what you're doing and trust your opinion but once you know that you have that that's when you can start taking risks and speaking up right now the number one thing that brands and agencies want to avoid is coming off as racist and coming off as not as diverse. So if you are afraid of speaking up about these things, this is a card you can pull really quick and help them be more, um, how do you say, hip, diverse. They all wanna make sure that they don't get canceled. So this is the way that you can do it. You can help them be with the times. So when you do speak up about these things and you do point out like, hey, we need more diversity. We only got one black creator and one Asian creator. Why do we have just one? This is tokenism. They are hiring you for that reason, please. Like, don't be afraid to speak up. It's okay to be assertive and say these things. Love this conversation.